pressure exerted by the liquids and gases pressure exerted by a liquid at the bottom of the container depends on the height of its column a liquid exerts pressure on the walls of the container liquids exert equal pressure at the same depth now let us understand all these points about the pressure exerted by the liquids with some experiments now take a transparent plastic pipe and place a rubber balloon and stretch the rubber sheet tightly over one end of the pipe now hold the plastic pipe vertically so that the rubber balloon is towards the bottom and pour some water into the pipe we observe the bulge in the rubber balloon now pour some more water in the plastic pipe now we can observe that the rubber balloon bulges further and becomes more wide by this experiment we can understand that the pressure exerted by water at the bottom of the container depends on the height of its column now let us do another activity now take a plastic bottle and take a glass tube and heat it slightly and insert it near the bottom of the bottle if there is any leakage seal it with molten wax and place a good quality rubber balloon towards the other end of the glass tube now fill the bottle completely with water and you can observe the bulge in the rubber balloon this shows that a liquid exerts pressure on the walls of the container now take a plastic bottle and drill three holes all around near the bottom of the bottle at the same height now fill the bottle with water we can observe the water coming out from all the three holes with the same speed this demonstrates that liquids exert equal pressure at the same depth gases also exert pressure on the walls of the container we understand it better with an activity take a balloon and inflate air in it we generally tie the mount to avoid the escape of gas from it if we do not tie the mount the air will escape from the balloon we cannot inflate a rubber balloon with holes as the air escapes from the holes thus we can conclude that gases also exert pressure on the walls of the container now let us learn about atmospheric pressure as we all know air is present all around us this envelope of air is known as the atmosphere the atmospheric air extends up to many kilometers above the surface of the earth the pressure exerted by this air is known as atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is the weight of air in a column of unit area when you press the rubber sucker against a flat surface most of the air between its cup and surface escapes out the sucker sticks to the surface because of the pressure of atmosphere acting on it to pull the sucker off the surface the applied force should be large enough to overcome the atmospheric pressure in fact it would not be possible for any human being to pull the sucker off the surface if there was no air at all between the sucker and the surface